Hello and welcome to Piaw's Big Surprise Review. Um, I know a lot of people have been speculating, I've been waiting, I've been excited. Um, I've heard all kinds of guesses uh, for, from all, all, for all sorts of different things. Um, I know a lot of people thought it, you know, suspected uh, it was going to be Revenge of the Fallen Leader Class Optimus Prime. Um, a lot of people thought maybe Revenge of the Fallen Sideswipe. Um, Revenge of the Fallen Leader Jetfire, uh, Revenge of the Fallen um, um, New Voyager Starscream, or Revenge of the Fallen Leader Megatron, uh, all sorts of guesses, all sorts of speculation. Um, the one thing I never saw anybody ask, though, uh, was it possibly Leader Prime and Leader Jetfire um, to show off their combination uh, combined mode um, as Leader Class figures. I was really kind of surprised that nobody guessed that one. Um, but anyway, I will not uh, keep you in suspense anymore for my big surprise review is Generation 1 Fortress Maximus. Um, see what I did there? I know it's kind of a tease, I'm sorry. Um, no, this is, um, he's complete. Um, you can see he's very white. Um, there's no discoloration. The stickers are, are damn near pristine. Um, that is my phone. Um, but anyway, um, that's it. Um, here he is. This is his battle station modem. He is complete. He has all his pieces. I was super, super stoked when, when, I, when I learned I was going to be getting this. Um, and I'm very excited for it. I know some of y'all were waiting for a Revenge of the Fallen figure, and I'm sorry if it's disappointing. Um, but this is super exciting to me. Um, here he is in his battle station mode, uh, or space fortress. Sometimes he, he can fly as a ship. Um, but he's got the guns here. Um, not a whole lot to this mode, really. This is kind of really what I consider like a third kind of almost afterthought mode. Um, but it is a spaceship. He's got the guns up here. Um, there's a little cockpit up here that opens, and uh, Spike sits inside. We'll go ahead and take him out for later. I'll put him right there. Um, but yeah, just a, it's, it's basically a fortress. Um, he's got the cannons over here. Um, and the ramps up. Not a really whole lot I can I can go go into with uh, with this mode. It, it it's a spaceship. I even when I had one before, I rarely keep them in this mode. It's it, it's but it's there if you want it. Um, now one of his other big modes is of course city mode. And to get to that, you want to put the feet up. I do have his little vehicles in there. I'll go ahead and show those off. This is uh, Gromit, I believe. Uh, and he's a little tank. Um, I've got his pistol in there as a cannon. And then gasket, another little wheeled armored vehicle. Again, they can store at his feet as the box art shows. Um, so sometimes I'll put them in there, but they're two little vehicles that come along with uh, him. And, and this is a gun for Cerebros, which we'll get to in a minute. I'm just showing off the accessories there. Anyway, on to city mode. Put this down. Basically, you want to point these cannons up like that. Um, open up this and flip this down for a repair bay. Put that cover back down. Uh-oh, that's not good. Don't worry, everything is fine. They can take a beat. I'm just going to set these down over here on the table for a moment until we until we get this transformation. So you want to take each leg, hold it up, Rotate it here at the waist, and then fold it all the way up. Uh, this helipad, you can flip up like this, flip around, it's got a little tab to plug it in there. Uh, and then we do the same thing over here with this button, we'll twist it around, twist it up, and there we go. And turn it around like this, and that essentially, oh, well, you want to flip up this ramp is the city mode here. Your hand. Sometimes that will pop up if you try to lift it up too high, but it's on the just on the post snaps right into place. Um there's his city mode. There's a little crank here behind the tower that you can oh that's not it. Um, there's a little wheel here that lets you spin the radar dish. Um, check for any incoming bad guys. And um, again there's a repair bay. You can put uh, mini cars or mini vehicles uh, like a gasket here as you, as you uh, 
launch them off the ramps. Um, there's a little communications room, we'll get into that in, in just a minute. Um, and again, there's a ramp over here that can also launch cars. And if you turn around to the side, there is a, um, a jail for holding prisoners. And over on this side, they call this the repair bay. That way you flip that down, you can store some mini cars there on different ramps as repair bays or storage. Um, but he's got a little storage space there on his leg there. Um, and in the middle here, on each side, there's one on both sides here. Uh, there's a little door that opens. And back here there's a little crank that you can rotate. And so you can take a minifigure or a smaller figure like Bumblebee here, and you can see just about get a size comparison there, just how big this guy really is. But Bumblebee right in there. And then come around here. And then by by rotating the crank, oh, knock him off again. If I rotate the crank this way, he goes up on an elevator, and then there's a little button right here that when you push, launches them out of the, the ramp, which is pretty cool. And that's about it for city mode. So, there's city mode, another look at him. Now what we can do is, gasket and grommet here, you can take these guns, And attach them to the side here. Pull this little pistol off and put it in his hand. Then take grommet, snap them together like that, and that is Cog, um, one of Fortress Maximus's little buddies, kind of like Fast Track with Scorponok or Full Tilt with uh, Trypticon or whichever the Scamper, whichever the one that came with uh, Metroplex is. We'll set him off to the side. Um, and then we have the communications room here can pop out. And you can close that, and then there's a little panel here we'll close in a minute. But um, just open that up, open the arms, and then slide each arm back. Um, and there you have Cerebros. And you'll notice he has no head. Um, I don't think anybody doesn't know the gimmick here, but Spike here. Now you want to flip this little panel on his back down and fold him in half and he becomes the head of Cerebros. And then he also has a little pistol here. And there's that. Now we'll set those off to the side because uh, it doesn't stop there. As many of you know, we'll fold up the jail here. We'll fold up this repair bay. Um, flip this down into place, fold that down, uh, for the time being we'll lift this up, fold this back up, uh, we're going to pull these ramps back and then flip these ramps up and they lock into place right here, we'll pull off these guns, set them to the side, we'll pull off this radar dish, I usually like to store it right in here, you can store it in here, we'll, get it. we'll show that off in a minute. All right, now we're ready for the big finish here. I'm going to take this, lay it down like that, put that down. Basically, we're moving the legs just the opposite of what we just did. Basically, turning the legs back into where they were for us. These are moving. Straight on like this, except where I leave the feet flipped up. And then you take this whole thing. Stand it up, and then we can close this panel right here. Uh, flip. Right, before we flip those down and around, take these panels, swing them all the way to the back. Oh, right, and make sure this is down first too, because I have some tabs that lock it that you can suck with this. Flip that panel down, close that, and then snap these into place. Now I'm going to go ahead, and you can see these are stored, and you can have them stored in robot mode. I'm going to go ahead, since I'm going to be showing off the cannons, to flip these cannons forward here. Uh, then rotate the arms down. Just like that. Now again, he's got some guns here on the back of his fist that pop up. Uh, I, I won't show those again later, but he's got one on each fist. 
And then he put his gun in his hands here. And again, you'll notice he, too, has no head. Um, so we'll take this pistol out of Cerebros's hand, and again, we'll stick it right in there with the, uh, with the radar dish. And then you flip up Cerebros's hands, fold them in like that, fold his legs up to the sides, and snap them into place, and then flip them over, flip up this panel on his back, and you have the head of Fortress Maximus. A lot of people will pull Spike off at this point, but there is an appropriate divot here for Spike to fit in, so I usually just leave him attached. Snap that on, and there, oh look at that, the camera moved. Sorry, there you have Fortress Maximus. Um, very cool. Um, and again, I'll show you again, that he has no head, but then once you transform Cerebros, uh, take him, and he just snaps into place right there, and uh, you have Fortress Maximus. Um, you, 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 and again, guns in this mode, he's got these, he's got the wrist guns, his forearm panels flip open and there's some guns here on each arm. Uh, he does have the leg guns that can flip up. Again, you flip the helipad around and deploy this gun if you want. I mean, he's definitely armed to the teeth. Uh, in robot mode, I usually store the helipad behind his thigh. Um, but just giant. Um, they're t they're t saying that the Revenge of the Fallen Devastator is made of all Voyagers and might be two feet tall. He's about 22 inches. So they're saying Devastator could be, like, yay big. Which I, I, I don't doubt. I'm, I'm sure Devastator will probably be about yay big. Um, but who knows? Devastator might beat him out. But as of right now, largest Transformer ever produced. And just to give you an idea of how big he is, one, we saw Bumblebee. So let's transform Bumblebee to a robot here real quick. There's, there he is in comparison to Bumblebee. Um, here he is with Classics Optimus Prime. So you can see very, very large. Um, here he is with his nemesis Scorponok, um, which, I mean, aside from Overlord, um, I mentioned in his review of uh, Biggest Decepticon uh, Transformer produced. Um, the biggest Decepticon released in America was Scorponok. Um, Overlord, I think, is just a tiny bit taller if you want to go for all Transformers ever. And for a slightly more recent figure, here he is with uh, Cybertron Primus. So you can see, um, even compared to today's Supreme Class figures, he's huge. Um, but there it is. That's my big surprise, was I got a complete minty, uh, very nice Fortress Maximus. Um, he's awesome. I'm very, I'm very happy to have him. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for teasing. I know a lot of people were expecting some new Revenge of the Fall and big reveal. I'm sorry I couldn't pull that off for you, but they're just not available yet. Um, you'll be seeing Leader Prime and the new Bumblebee and all those figures. Trust me, I'll be reviewing them. I'll be getting them. But my big surprise review is Fortress Maximus.